you're holding up all the weight. This he's a grown ass man. Okay? Um I'm dealing with you. If you don't want to consider me, my feelings, I'm pregnant and you just sitting around on house arrest doing nothing, nigga, you can move the fuck around. He didn't piss me off. Mafia, it's your girl Mo, and as y'all can tell by the title, I'm back with another banger. <laughs> and as y'all can tell by the title, today we doing Tell It to Mo Tuesday. I just want to thank everybody for all the positive um messages in the comments from the last tell it to mo tuesday this is season two episode two y'all we finna get it in we gonna get right to it i ain't got no drinky drink today but i ain't gonna lie we we, we might need a drink after these because it's going down in these tell it to mo tuesdays do you hear me before we get started i do want y'all to know that I will be dropping the official prayer song in two days, y'all. Is today the ace? Two days, y'all. We got two days. I did put out a small little snippet. Make sure you play it for the kids. Play it for the family. It's, it's the holiday season. Let's, let's use it when we eat Christmas dinner. Let's get it in, y'all. Make sure y'all stream it on all platforms, y'all. All right? Y'all got me? All right, cool. Let, let's open up the folder. All right. Hi, I'm 17 and I need help from you. I'm a lesbian and I don't know how to come out to my family. My mother and father won't care because won't care because not so long ago my sister came out and they accepted her. My grandmother not so much. She is very old school as a woman and has to and at as old school as in a woman has to be married with a man. I don't have any type of feelings for boys. When we are all watching movies with gay or lesbians kissing, she rolls her eyes and it makes me feel uncomfortable. Please give me some advice. So, you saying that you want to come out to your family um, and that you had a sister that recently came out. What I'm going to tell you is that you're, you're still 17, but... In my opinion, wait till you're 18. I don't know how old your sister is, but what I would do is wait till I turn 18 and then tell everybody, because guess what? At that point, you're considered an adult. You might not, you know, be doing all adult stuff. I don't know if you still stay with your parents or what, but at that point, at that age, it's your decision to decide who you love and who you want to be with. They can't really tell you. Also, you got a sister that came out. Go to your sister. Ask her how it made her feel. Talk to her for support. I'm pretty sure she'll be willing, unless y'all like into it or something, to, you know, let you know, like, be your support system behind it. And if you know your parents are okay with it, you have to understand that our grandparents, they grew up in a different time. And in their time, that, that shit was foreign for them. Nowadays, people are gay. Rainbows everywhere so don't let it don't i know it might feel like it's a lot right now but once you turn 18 and you in your groove and you starting to do you you know what i'm saying and it's it's a whole nother feeling once you hit that one eight i'm telling you so talk to your sister see see how she feels about it you know what i'm saying and let i'm pretty sure she's more than willing to be your support system behind this all right Next one. All right. Okay, Mo. Here's my tell it to Mo Tuesday. I've been in a relationship for 10 years with my children's dad. For about a year and a half now, I haven't been feeling this no more. Ooh, she ready to go. So I called it quits. Not to mention he is crazy as F. But I'm done with this shit. Anyways, I've been talking to someone else. And let's just say I'm not straight no more. You don't like me as no more. Everybody gay today. What's is it gay day? Wow. 
Okay, so I'm low key feeling shawty, and I've been with the woman before. Okay, so help your girl. Like don't I like I don't know what to do. These are new feelings, and I'm low key scared, but I'm ready. Listen, love. When you when you okay, so I I've, I've dated dudes actually. I didn't date a woman until I was 18 because at that point I knew what I wanted. So if you've done it before, like as far as help your girl out, do you mean like how to wine and dine, how to, you know, like as far as help your girl out, just go with the flow. It's just like being with a dude, you just more comfortable now because you, I guess you, like women now, but you know what I'm saying? With anybody in a relationship, no matter if it's gay or straight, just go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Tell her she's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, do nice things for her. Um, accept her flaws and all. You know what I'm saying? Go out. Well, you can't really do nothing right now now because of it, it. But you know what I'm saying? When the world open up, go do shit. Go kick it. Vibe out. Invite her to stuff. Don't leave her out. Don't be embarrassed to bring her around people and shit like that. That would be my advice. Just rock it on out. You got this. You got this. You know you got this. Next one. All right, y'all. This a long one. So, <laughs> I might need a drink of water. Hey Mo, I'm 18 and I've been with this boy since I was 12 and he was 14. And we're from Sacramento. No, we're from South Carolina. SC is South Carolina. Come on Mo, stop acting slow. Also, as we got older, he started to cheat on me. He would cheat with he would cheat on me with my best friend and, and my friends, and I took him back all the time. And then one year I got an STD from him. I cried and cried to the point where I wanted to harm myself. Oh, so I again took him back after he gave me the STD. I also got caught having sex by my mom and dad with him. So I took him back and my family turned against me. And this happened in 2018. So fast forward, he is still cheated in 2019. I took a break from him, started back talking in November of 2019. We're dating. I'm thinking he changed because it, because I didn't catch him cheating. So 2020 hit. So I'm thinking he my nigga, he got, he not cheating or nothing. So July hit, he cheated on me. Then I took him back in the end of July. I felt like I was pregnant. So I took a test and it was faint. So I told him and he told me he was going to be there for me and all this and that. So in October, a bitch texted me and said, <laughs> whoa, a bitch texted me and said, she, she was in the bed with him right now. And she said she might be pregnant by him too. I was like, what the, wait, ho, so, <laughs> so we, <laughs> wait. <laughs> This is so funny. Okay, so we talking and she telling me he messing with, with, with her and other girls, giving girls STDs that they stuck with for the rest of their life. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I might be pregnant. I'm young. So like, what should I do? I'm a big girl also. So it's kind of hard to tell if I'm pregnant or not. So how should I tell my mom and dad? Or should, I guess she meant like, or, or should not tell them. Like, should I tell my mom or not, dad or not? Sweetheart, listen to me. You are worth so much more than what you're, you are, it sounds like you might have some insecurity problems about your weight and who you are as a person. You need to, first of all, leave dude alone because he's treating you Exactly. You're, you're giving him leeway to treat you that way. If, if someone cheats on you multiple times, people make mistakes. Don't get me wrong. Because I've taken people back after doing, you know, things to me. You know what I'm saying? And I, but I'm very confident in who I am. And I know my worth. You feel me? So it's like, you got to know your worth. And you got to know when someone make, makes a genuine mistake. Or if they're just doing it because they're walking all over you. 
there's a big difference in that. And it sounds like he's walking all over you because you've given, forgiven him so many times. He gave you an STD. You still mess back with him. After someone burned me, it's over. You Now you're messing with my health. I can die. Because what if you ain't never find out you had it? You can die from STDs. Even though they're, so most of them are curable. Now you say he out giving girls STDs that they can't get rid of. Now what if he come and do it to you? Then you're pregnant. And that means you're putting your child in danger as well. Well, you don't know if you're pregnant. What I, what I, this is what I'm going to tell you. Leave him alone. Um, find you a group of women who are maybe, uh, you know, a little bit heavier. Like, they have sister groups, meetings. They have virtual stuff going on for women who are feeling, you know, depressed in these times or feeling like they're not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Find a workshop or something for you to, or a group of friends you may have. You know what I'm saying? Get away from him. Build yourself up and, and, and try to figure out who you are. Because it sounds like he's taking you so far away from loving yourself that it's, 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 becoming, it's becoming like a habit for you to just think you're not shit. Because what, what, what did I need to know you was a big girl for? That has nothing to do with what, what you told me. So it sounds like you might have some, some personal stuff that you need to fix within yourself so that you know your worth and then you won't have to, you would know not to put up with shit like that. You feel me? And as far as telling your parents, I mean, it depends on what type of parents you have and if you're a grown up. I, I don't know if you said you were grown or not. It was a long stretch, but if you're a grown up, I would definitely confide in people that I know love me for me and are not going to judge me for what I've done or, you know, for the mistakes in the past. So I hope it worked out for you. I hope you find, you know, a group of friends or someone special, uh, one, even if it's one friend, somebody you could talk to to help you just love yourself because you got to love yourself before somebody else can love you. And he definitely don't love you. And it sounds like you got, you might need to work on loving yourself more as well. Okay. I hope it works out for you. Next one, y'all. These, these Teletimo Tuesdays, they, they be having me in my chest, y'all. I be in my chest. I'm not even gonna lie. Hey, Mo, I've been talking to this dude for like two years. Our relationship has been rocky. He then cheated. Everybody cheating or gay today. Talk to bitches and some uh, cheated. Talk talk to bitches and some more. I forgave him, but I feel unhappy in this relationship. At some point, I met somebody I liked and I tried to unsuccessfully in the relationship. But he kept telling me how much he loved me and even said he'll kill himself if I want if I want to go. But I don't want him to hurt himself in the process. What should I do? Y'all, that is a hard that is that is one of the hardest things in the world. Like when you try to separate yourself from a relationship and the person becomes like suicidal or they want they want to hurt themselves. That's hard because you then then you feel bad. What I can tell you is maybe that maybe you should let him like Offer him to like get help for him for himself and let him know I'm still going to be there for you. Like it's just because we're not together doesn't mean I, I don't love you. Like I just cut it off or you know what I'm saying? You got to kind of, you got to kind of sneak and stop talking to him type, not sneak and stop talking to him, but like kind of smooth him over still like be there. Let him know if you want, if you want, us to have any type of relationship whether it's a friendship or a relationship I need you to get some help then even maybe it might work out between y'all you never know but see if he's willing to get help with whatever is making him feel like he want to kill himself because you like you leaving that shouldn't make him want to like kill himself but some people are like that, y'all. So I don't know. Like I said, this has always been a hard one for me when it comes to people like wanting to hurt themselves and people want to break up with them. 
You know, I don't have all the answers either, y'all. But it's tell it to Mo Tuesday, so I'm gonna say what I what I think. And I just think that you should see if he wanna get help. And if he wants to get help, you know, kind of stand by his side and let him know I'm gonna be here through it. Whatever you're going through. Cause you ain't every when you break up with somebody, you ain't always gotta break up on hateful terms. It ain't always gotta be hate involved or I'm never talking to you again type shit. It just sound like you you grew apart. You know what I'm saying? He did cheat. And that's on him. So he needs to get some help. And just let him know you're going to be there for him. And hopefully, you know, he feel a different way about it after that. Next one. Me and my child father have been together for seven months now. I'm due March 22nd. He is currently on house arrest and I'm doing everything financially, but it's like he doesn't appreciate it. What is the best way to discuss my feelings with him? When we do have conversations regarding my feelings, we do have conversations regarding my feelings, but it's like he pushes them to the side. Okay, so this, this is what I'm going to tell you. You need to let him know that you're holding up all the weight. This, he's a grown ass man. Okay. Um, I'm dealing with you. If you don't want to consider me, my feelings, I'm pregnant. And you just sitting around on house arrest doing nothing. Nigga, you can move the fuck around. He didn't piss me off. But no, for real though. Like, let him know you're going to listen to me. And you're going to listen to me loud and fucking clear. I'm not finna keep dealing with this. I'm already emotional and pregnant. And here you are not trying to listen to what I got to say. That ain't right. Who are you? You don't do shit. How you don't do shit and can't even be a good, can't even be a good listener? You ain't using your hands and feet to go to work. Use your ears to listen. What's wrong with these niggas? He didn't piss, he didn't piss me off. Girl, you need to let him know. This ain't that. Stand up. Put your foot in that nigga neck. Shit. Hell wrong with him. Oh, he done pissed me off. Next one, y'all. Hey, can you keep me anonymous? I got you. Okay, so my BF has a best friend. And when we first start... Oh, your boyfriend. Okay, my boyfriend has a best friend. And when we first started dating, he showed me a DM from her. Saying how happy she was for him. And he showed me recently, she texted him again saying, um, hey, he showed me, he showed me never asked to see it, but there was no history. If this is your best friend, there'll be history, right? Like, yeah, there was no, no messages. Okay. Anyways, I told him, I told him he apologized, said he wouldn't do it again. A few days later, I found out he unfollowed her and still went through her page every day to like her things. Am I tripping or, or is something going on? What should I do? And I asked him to block her. So he, he, he let you know she hit him. This, this her boyfriend, best friend. So he letting you know she hit him up. Oh, look, babe, my best friend hit me up. Some time go by, she hit him up again. He like, look, my best friend hit me up. Ain't no history. All the messages is gone. What is the messages gone for? You think you slick. Nigga, you ain't slick. Yeah. What should you do? You need to find out what's really going on. Let that nigga know. If it's something going on with you and your best friend, you need to tell me now or I'm moving around. Because I ain't with that best friend. That best friend shit dead. You feel me? You ain't tripping. You ain't tripping. Find, dig deep and find out. And you let me know. Because I want to know more. I need to know what happened. Because, yeah, it's something going on. You ain't no goofy. You can feel it in your spirit. Your stomach just twisting. I've been there. I've been there a few times. I, it, let me know what, what happened. Because something going on. You ain't, you ain't wrong. The fuck? 
Next one, y'all. This one long. My camera going dead. Oh, God. Okay, so I got these group of friends that is about dumb as fuck. Girl, it seems like I'm the only normal one. I've been there. Okay, so my friend was definitely a school hoe back in the day and still is continuing it. No shade to my sis, but she fucked about 10 people this year and fuckers that was close close to her back in the day when we when she was a school HOE. So now I got this little nigga, she, now she got this little nigga she talked to, and he don't claim her at all. Every time he say jump, the bitch jumping, he be hella bitches behind her, and she know too. Wow. Now, we done got into it over this, because I want to see my friend happy, but not with him. Because I know he playing out of her. And it's not, it's not to talk, and let's not talk about how he Somebody in my family, I told that bitch, and all she did was cry and went back to him two hours later and sucked his stinking wool. Oh, yeah, sis. Oh, yeah, sis. My cousin told oh, me no. it stinks. But long story, story short, he gave my friend something and she don't care. Like, when is this gonna get it through her head? And it's crazy because we all fell out so many times because I'm sick of hearing the shit. But I want to be there for my friend. But I'm also annoyed that this bitch don't see and don't care what he do. It's like, oh, and this some crazy shit. So why she wanted some D one day and he made her go to the bathroom by herself and play with it. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Okay, we, we ain't gonna go into all that. But I need some advice on what I should do about still hanging with her. Because my dude told me I need to leave it alone. But I can't because that's my best friend. But I'm sick of her bullshit. What will you do as her friend? Y'all, I skipped a lot. She had a lot more. She just went into detail about what he be making her do. And it was, just, it was a lot. Listen. Sus. Sometimes you real life have to stay out of people's shit. I know that's your friend, that's your best friend, and you want to see her happy, but you cannot force somebody to be happy because after a while, when somebody got what they got going on, on going on, they're stuck in this vicious cycle. Like you said, you told her, he my cousin. All you gonna do is cry and then go back to him and give him some head. You're goofy. I know you love your friend. I've had dumb friends, but sometimes you real life got to stay out of that shit. Because, like you said, y'all got into it. Y'all fall out. Because she takes offense. It's kind of almost like some women like that. Like, they like being cheated on. And you ain't... that. Yo dude, right? He probably don't want you hanging with her because she a goofy and stuff like that. But it's like you got to love. Sometimes you just got to love people from a distance. I've had so many friends that just wasn't in my thinking status. And I had to be like, yeah, I'm going to holler at you when I holler at you. Sometimes you got to do that. Girl, stay out their business. Leave it alone. You might need to love her from a distance, like I said, and just, you know what I'm saying? Let her know you're worth more. And if she can't see that and y'all keep getting into it, then it's not meant for you to be her friend because real friends know when you're being genuine and when you, when you trying to, you know what I'm saying, protect them. Friend, if she's not really your friend, if she can't accept the fact that you're literally trying to be there for her best interests. So just let it go. Sometimes your friends, you, you got to just change your space. Protect your energy. And girl, you pissed about this. Because that was the longest set of paragraphs I've seen in a long time. Okay? Y'all, no mafia. We're going to wrap it up right there. Make sure y'all go stream the prayer song on all platforms, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on this video. Y'all, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Put a number. Um, I think I had about seven or eight entries or, you know what I'm saying, let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Put a number like entry one and 
oh girl, da 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 da. This is what I would do. Help them out in the comments, y'all, because this tell it to Mo Tuesday, but we Mo Mafia, and we gonna we gonna take care of everybody, right? We gonna we a family, so we take care of everybody. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let them know what y'all think about the situations. It might be a point that y'all have that I missed. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, period. That's the end of Tell It To Mo Tuesday, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. And Mo Mafia, we finna get lit because we the shit. Gang.